Uh, I guess, what, not too long ago, I mean, there was that one issue with the DVD authoring of one of your series where it didn't go so well and you had to send out replacement copy discs. Did you have any... That wasn't an authoring issue? That was a manufacturing issue. Oh, that was just a manufacturing yeah. issue? Did you, I was just curious if you had any other kind of stories like that that you were able to stave off before it actually got to production. Um, every day. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> Literally every day uh, something happens. There, something happened even recently, and I can't be too specific about it, but uh, something happened recently where quality control was listening to a show and actually a wrong, an incorrect line was in. It was, uh, somebody was talking about a number of years and it was the wrong number of years. So we freaked out and I said, okay, well, I don't know if we can fix this. We can't get that actor back in. And so I checked uh, with our mix department and asked them if they had an alternate version of the line, like maybe a pickup was recorded. They said, no, we don't have it. So um, I finally went all the way back to the line producer. It turns out that they had initially dropped in the wrong line. So there was an alternate, like the pickup recorded. So we got to fix that. A lot of people would have been upset if we noticed we did that. But yeah, every day. So that's why quality control is extremely important. I've seen anything be less than like six months or so. I'd say six to nine months, yeah. something. Yeah, and a lot of it also just has average. to do with our release schedule as well, because we may be done working on it on our end and things, but uh, just for, uh, for you know, the financial purpose and whatever the powers that be decide, it's going to be released at a certain <coughs> time. Yeah. Well, and honestly, sometimes it depends on what the retailers want. Um, although we may be completely finished with a series, maybe let's say if Walmart wants it, we definitely want our stuff to go to Walmart. So we would have to wait until they they decide on a date for us. Yeah. Now some shows do take a lot longer. Do take a lot longer. But but I guess average, I would say actually closer to nine months. Yeah. Um, like as far as writing goes, um, our scripts are written within, depending on who the writer is, it usually takes uh, one to two weeks per episode. And we've usually got two or three people doing the scripted out adaptation per episode. Um, recording, when we're doing the dubs, it takes, uh, we usually work in batches of six episodes, and depending on how dialogue heavy that show is, uh, a show like Shoot It which had no dialogue, um, it's just long, long moments of drawn out silence and music. Uh, you know, we probably recorded the entire series in a month, and a month and a half, whereas, and I think that was a full 12 episodes, uh, whereas 
whereas something a little more dialogue intensive like Heaven's Lost Property, which is just cram full of jokes and things, people talking on top of each other and things like that, or a show like Kodacha back in the day, uh, it takes mm, a month to a month and a half uh, for, per six episodes. So it averages out to almost an episode a week. Uh, but of course, you know, you've got actor at a time coming I mean, in, you never get episode one done, then episode two, then episode three. We're working on all six of them at once. Favorite non Funimation show? What? What's your favorite non Funimation show? Anime? Uh, sure, yeah. Come on up. Yeah. All right, thank you guys. Thank you all so much. Thank you.